Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we are making a brand new custom split pony using Applejack. I've already made split ponies of the rest of the main six, including Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Rarity, and Pinkie Pie. Which one has been your favorite so far? With Applejack, we're going to make her into half Apple Jewel and half Applejack. Apple Jewel is a dressed up fancy version of Applejack who appears in the Simple Ways episode of the fourth season of My Little Pony. Before we start, if you're new to this channel and like my custom ponies, please subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Alright, let's get started! So the first thing I want to do is to remove the hair. We're going to remake the hair using clay. So using my scissors, we're just going to cut it really close to the scalp. And we're also going to cut off the tail. So for this custom, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're not going to remove the roots of the hair. I'm just going to leave it on and we're going to cover it up with clay. And also, I'm not going to remove the glitter off her feet. Sometimes with the acetone, it kind of ruins the body underneath and since I'm not going to be painting her body, it's not going to be covered up. Taking a ball of clay, we're going to make Applejack's tail. So we're going to roll out into a log that's more tapered on one end. And then we're going to start shaping it into Applejack's tail. And when it's done, it's going to look a little bit like this. And what I did was also made it flat on one side because we only want half of her tail. So this way, it's nice and flat on one end. For Applejack's mane, we're going to take a round piece and we're going to flatten it out a little bit and make it into a teardrop. Once we have the shape that we want, we can put it over Applejack's head. And because this is a split pony, I'm going to cut the mane right down the middle of the head. For the other part of the mane, we're going to do something similar. We're going to take a log and we're going to shape it and then place it along her neck. And we're also going to fill in this gap with extra clay. On Apple Jewel side, we're going to work with smaller pieces. I'm adding a small piece on the back here. It's a little bit flipped up. And we're going to work our way up to the front. Here on top of the head, I'm adding a larger piece to make it look like she has an updo. Then we're going to add a few more pieces of her hair coming down from the top of the head. And another piece of bangs on the front. After baking, the hair is nice and hard. Because I wasn't too good at keeping the clay clean when I was working on it, I'm going to paint over the mane. I'm also going to make it a little bit darker than the original color of the clay. Next, we're going to make Apple Jewel's dress. Here, I have a cutout of the dress on a piece of paper towel. Taking a flat piece of white clay and a wavy edge cutter, I'm going to cut out the first layer. Now, we're going to take this white piece and place it over the pink piece. Then, I'm going to trim it so that we get this longer piece of pink underneath the white. Next, with strips of green, we're going to lay it out in the grid. Then placing a piece of plexiglass or something flat, we're going to flatten it a little bit so that the pieces stick together. Now we have this really cool grid and we're going to place it over the white. Then using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to trim the edges to give it a cleaner look. All 
right, everyone. So we are done. What do you think of Apple Jewel? So her hair was the hardest part to do. I ended up using quite a lot of pieces put together to give her that updo look. And I think it turned out pretty cute. I especially love the little curl on the side of her face. For Applejack, her side is actually pretty normal. So we have her bangs sweeping down the front and also a bit of the mane coming down the side of her shoulders. And of course, she has an Applejack tail with a hair tie. Another fun piece to make was her dress. So her dress is actually three different pieces. So we have the white main piece with the pink underneath. And we have this little green piece that's in the grid pattern laid out on top. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Applejack and Apple Jewel split pony. And finally, we've done all six of the main ponies as split ponies. I wonder what I should do next. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!